Ladies and gentlemen, in Princeton students, back despite popular demand, is the cleverest band in the world at Columbia University. Featuring his head manager, J. Eliza Pellerine, drum major, and J. Michael Albertson, popping the orange bubble. Welcome to self back to beautiful, bucolic, bilateral, urbane, multicultural, ilia mercenary, yet still iconoclastic Robert K. Kraft Field at Lawrence A. Wien Stadium at Baker Athletic Complex, where the Lions will roar, the Tigers will snore, and everyone will score. Recently, it seems many Princeton students are reluctant to admit they go to Princeton because they want to protect the feelings of the unwashed masses. Some get around this whole dilemma by never talking to anyone who doesn't have a trust fund, but others avoid dropping the P-bomb by simply saying, oh, I go to school in New Jersey. An astute move indeed, admitting that you, only, that you chose to live in New Jersey is usually enough to wash off the elitist stink. But not dropping the P-bomb to spare people who didn't grow up drinking Chateau Lafitte out of a sippy cup is ridiculous. Here's a news flash for you, Tigers. No one in the real world gives an F about your P-bomb. In honor of the Daily Princetonian, which basically wrote this joke for us, the band now humbly drops a bomb of its own and plays dynamite. of errors that is the Mitt Romney campaign rolled on last week and as Romney showed up to the Univision Forum sporting a Princeton orange spray tan that made him resemble a ripe tangerine. Now there's probably a good reason for this bronzer blunder. Perhaps Romney's been hanging out too much with House Speaker John Boehner. Or maybe he was on his way to a Jersey high school prom. It could be even simpler than that. After all, Mitt's been spending more time outside than he ever has in his life. Even if the election doesn't go Romney's way this November, it's good to know that he can always go back to his old job, making chocolate in Willy Wonka's factory. In honor of desperately courting the electorate, the band now forms Mitt Romney's aching heart and plays Give Me Some Lovin'.